Okay, so today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make one of these cute uh, crochet dinosaurs. Full disclaimer, this pattern is based off of a pattern that's not written by me, it's written by Zach, I'll link his channel in, des in the description. His pattern was really good, I just um, copied it and then changed part of it to make the tail, uh, you don't have to sew it on to make it part of it. So the rest of the pattern, he created like the legs, the head, how all that works. All rights go to him, that was his design. I just changed part of it. I'll link it in the description in case you want to try that one first. <laughs> so what you need... I'm using um, Flutter by Chunky Yarn, because, I don't know, I found it works best. And with that I'm using a 3.5mm. I don't actually know what size you're supposed to use for this yarn, that's just the one I've always used. <laughs> um, eyes, obviously, for the dinosaur. Scissors, again, obviously. And you will need a sewing needle. But that's just to close up the head and uh, the body. Obviously it's no so, that's the whole point of it. Uh, you'll just need it to close up the holes at the end. Okay, so the first step we're going to do is the feet. So obviously copy this and then you just have to make four of them. The first step is to do six single stitches into a magic circle. But with flutter by yarn it can be really difficult to do a magic circle. So the way I do it is chain two and then just work six single crochets into the first chain, like so. Three, four, five, and six, which can leave a hole, but usually doesn't. And I feel like it's just a lot nicer than having to like pull the yarn because this, this yarn can get quite annoying with like the, all the fluff coming off. So I've just found that's an easy way of doing it. And the next step, is to do a single crochet then an increase and then repeat that three times so a single crochet and then an increase and then just do that two more times now once you've done that you should have nine double check count that you have nine <laughs> it's always better to count more times than not enough and then realize you've missed one the next step is to do the same thing but two single crochets and then an increase and then also repeat that three times Okay, now you should have 12 stitches, you should probably double check and count, make sure that you have 12. And the next step is to just do a round of, um, I've got entangled, a round of uh, 12 single crochets just all around the top. And once you've done that, all you have to do, slip stitch. Uh, you don't need to leave a lot because obviously it's no sew. Pull it tight, turn it inside out, and there's one of your feet. And then obviously do that three more times to get four feet. And now that you've got all four feet, we're going to start with the tail. So for the tail, do the magic ring again, but this time only work um, four stitches into it. So chain two, and then into the first chain, work one, two, three, four. And then the next step, you just do four single crochets all the way around. The next step is to increase to six stitches and to do that you do a single crochet then an increase then a single crochet then an increase so that's one and then increase and then one and then increase like so and once you've done that do a round of just six so one two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to increase to nine by doing the same thing but three times. So you're going to do single crochet, then increase, and twice more. Then you're just going to do a round of nine. Now we're going to increase to 12 by doing single crochet, then a single crochet, then an increase, and do that two more times, followed by a round of just 12 single crochets. Now to increase to 15, you do the exact same thing, but you do three single crochets and an increase, do that three times, and then do a row of 15 single crochets. 
Now we're going to increase to 18 by doing the same thing, but you do four single crochets, increase, do that three times, and then do a row of 18 single crochets. And finally, we're going to increase to 21 by doing, obviously, five single crochets, then an increase, then a row of 21 single crochets. Now your tail should look something like this. Uh, you should probably count, double check that you have 21. And then for the last round, you do 10 single crochets, then an increase, then another 10. And you can slip stitch, cut a little end, tie it off, turn it inside out, and that's what your tail should look like. Now to start on the body, obviously do a slip knot, and then you're going to chain 16. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, like so. Then starting in the second chain back from your hook, so that'd be this one, you're going to single crochet 14 all along the chain. And then once you get something like this, you do three single crochets all in the last chain. One two, three, all in the last chain. Then all you have to do is work back along 14 again. Now you should have a weird pickle looking thing. Then at the end here, you're gonna do an increase, like so, and then you're gonna go back across 13. The next step, is to do an increase followed by a single crochet like so and then followed by another increase like that and then you just do 13 more single crochets and then you do two increases in a row so that's one increase and then another increase. And then after that, you do two single crochets. One. And two. And once you've got to there, you're going to attach the first foot. And the way to do that is to make sure it's the right way out. Put your hook in through a stitch. Then put your hook in through the correct next stitch on there and single crochet as normal and then you do that two more times following the stitches along as you normally would and there you have attached one of the feet now the next step is to do six single crochets and then attach the next foot via three single crochets just like you did with the first one and once you've attached the second foot you do a single crochet followed by an increase followed by two single crochets and then an increase and one more single crochet like so and then you attach the third foot once you've got the third foot attached you do six single crochets along and then attach the final foot Then to finish off this round, you do two single crochets. So one and two, and that is what you should have so far. Now the next round is what we're going to use to attach these more securely to the base. So to start off, you just do three single crochets. And then you're going to do an invisible decrease to attach this to the foot. And if you don't know what an invisible decrease is, instead of going through all the way through like you normally would, you go through just the first one and then just the first loop of the next thing and then pull through as you would with the decrease and connect like so. And that's how you do the decrease. So that's how I do decreases for all of it, just because it makes it look neater. The next step is seven single crochets all around the foot. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, and seven, like so. And then to transition back to the body, you do another decrease, like that. Then you do four single crochets along this flat bit. One, two, three, four. And then around this foot, you do the same thing again. Decrease, seven single crochets, and then a decrease. As you can see, this brings the, the body to the legs. Now, once you've done the decreases around the second foot, you're going to do six single crochets to meet round to the third, third foot. Two, three, four, five, and six. And then you do a decrease, seven single crochets, and then a decrease as normal. And then, just like you did on this side, you do four single crochets, decrease, seven single crochets, and then decrease. And then to finish this round off, just a single crochet. And that's what you have so far, like a weird frog looking thing. <laughs> and once you've got to here, you should have, if you double check, you should have 54 stitches all around here. And the next step is to do a row of 54 and then a second row of 54. I'm not going to film that because that'll take forever. <laughs> okay, once you've done those two rows, it should look something like this. I put a stitch marker in at the end just to make it a bit easier, but you don't need a stitch marker. And now the next step is what we're going to do to attach the tail. So you do 27 single crochets all along. Uh, and I'll skip this bit because no one wants to see me crochet 27 times. And then once you get to the back side here, we're going to attach the tail. Just like how we did for the feet. But you're going to attach it through five. So one. Two. three, four, and five, like so. And then after that, you do 22 stitches all the way back to the, to the front. There we go. Now you should be back around to the front, and I've just moved the stitch marker up. So now the tail is attached. The next step is to do 26 all along. Uh, and then you'll do a decrease connecting the body to the tail. Now once you've done the decrease connecting like that, do 15 single crochets all along the tail and then another decrease connecting it. And now that it's all connected, you just have to do 21 all the way back round to the stitch marker. Now the next round is basically exactly the same as the round you did before, just different numbers. So you're going to go 25 along, decrease, 13 around, decrease, and then 20 along. The next row is also very similar. You do 24 along, but then you do two decreases, 11, two decreases, and then 19 all the way back around. And for this last row, we're going to decrease back to the original 54 stitches by doing 23, two decreases, nine, two decreases, and then 18. Now you should have something like this with the tail fully attached. Now the next step is to do eight single crochets along one two three four five six seven eight then a decrease i'm going to keep doing the invisible ones because i like how it looks at the end and then 10 more single crochets along now once you get to here, you're going to do a single crochet, then a decrease, like so, and then that five more times. So single crochet, decrease, single crochet, decrease, five times. Then you're going to do 12 single crochets, a decrease, and then two. Now the next step is to do eight along, decrease, and then eight more. Now you're going to do three decreases, three single crochets, and then three more decreases. For the last part of this row, you do nine, decrease, then a two. Now 
now for this last row here, you do 18, three decreases, and then 14. And once you've done that, it's time to separate the head from the body. For this part, I would recommend using a stitch marker. You don't have to, you can just count backwards, but it's just slightly easier if you use a stitch marker. So crochet along 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now it'll be easier with the stitch marker because you only have to count back six, or if you don't have a stitch marker, you can just count back 18 stitches all the way around here. So I'll do it from the stitch marker. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, like so. And then you're going to want to pull it through both of them like this, pull tight. And you separated the head from the body and the head will go up from here. So you should be six away, you double check, one, two, three, four, five, six, like so. And the next step is to crochet along six. So one, two, three, four, five, and the last stitch where the stitch marker is, six, like so. Once you've stuffed a dinosaur, I recommend starting at the end of the tail to make sure you stuff upwards and fiddle the gaps. It should look like this. Now, I recommend cutting the thread there and closing the back first, because if you crochet the head, it's kind of awkward to get around to this angle because the neck is in the way. Uh, so I recommend doing that. So to close the back, you're going to do two single crochets. Sorry. <laughs> I was out of frame. Two single crochets, like so. And then a decrease. Like that. Sorry, it's a bit, it's a bit of an awkward angle once you get to this stage. And then do that four more times all around. And as you can see, it's starting to close up. And then for the next row, you do the same thing, but you do one single crochet, then a decrease, and repeat that four more times as well. So you do that five times all the way around. Now you should be left with a little gap where you can just do a slip stitch, cut, leave a little bit extra because you'll need to sew it shut, pull, and then you've got this tail where you can just sew up that little hole and it'll look like that. Also, I'd recommend adding a little bit more stuffing in, otherwise you get that little bump there. Now, the next step, you just do nine rounds of 18 single crochets all along and it will build up the neck. Now that you've got your neck, the next step is to do two single crochets. And then seven increases in a row and then nine single crochets all the way back around to the start. As you can see those increases will start the bit of the head that will go around like that and once you've done that row do four single crochets so one two three and four followed by a single crochet then an increase five times. And then once you've done that, do 11 single crochets all the way around back to the start. Now you should have 30 stitches all around the top. And the next step is to do four rounds of just 30. Once you've done the four rows, I like to add the eyes in this row. Obviously you can place the eyes wherever you see fit, whatever size eyes you want. Uh, this is the size that I'm going with because I wanted it to look cute. So I decided to use massive ones. So that's where I put them on that row. If you want to add your eyes now, you can do that too. Now we're going to start closing the head by doing 
three single crochets so one two three then a decrease and then do that pattern five more times all the way around it's at this point i'd recommend uh stuffing up to the neck just before the hole gets too small that you can't push the stuffing down well enough and the next round you do exactly the same thing the pattern six times except it's two single crochets followed by decrease instead of three like so and then five more times and the next round exactly the same thing but one single crochet and then a decrease six times following the same pattern that you've done for the past two rounds like that so at this point that you've stuffed the head fully ignore the dog dark barking <laughs> and then for the last round sorry that's lewis you do six decreases in a row all the way around and now you've pretty much closed up all you have to do is a slip stitch leave a little bit of a tail for sewing it closed and then pull through like so and then you just have to sew up the hole and there we go there's the finished dinosaur there's a bit of stuffing everywhere but that always happens so yeah squidgy little legs tail head and you don't have to sew any of the body parts on which is just a bonus <laughs> I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I might be selling these on my Etsy. I'll put a link to my Etsy on, uh, in the description. So if you can't be bothered to make one, check it out. Uh, I don't know for sure if I'm going to sell them yet or not. But I sell, I sell other crochet things. So check it out if you want to. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. <laughs>